There are innocent people in there. You could have shot at them. Okay, so we're back with this pointing finger. Today is the 20th. I will upload It Takes Two on 21st. This will be uploaded on the 22nd. I think. And then Kena has already come out by then. And then maybe on the 23rd, on 24th, I will upload Kena. But uh, in this game, we have still like three parts to go or, or something like that. So, um, or even four. There should be three now. Like this is one, and two, and then three. All right, what you planning? There's got to be more in these files. All right, can't wait to fail with Kelso as well. That is indeed California. Against loss and damage. Do I... Is that it? Do I just tap on it? Am I done? Am I done? There's something else in that report. I know it. You're talking to yourself while this woman is at the table. Okay, don't mind me. Just making a fool out of myself. But you already have a boyfriend, so I don't give a damn. But I'm still making a fool out of myself. Wait, wait, can I turn this page? No. Then, uh... What is... Oh, I... Oh, there is more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Sorry for your loss. Yeah. It be that sometimes. It do be like that. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Hmm. Still 30. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Okay, um, I feel like I'm kind of cheating here because, uh, because I want her to win, right? What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Kelso? Uh, okay, this is even making me even more confused now. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. You see the irony in that? Mr. Kelso, we spent four years there. Hmm. So the roof collapsed, accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. You expect me to believe that you have no ulterior motive? That money means nothing to you? I believe that money has value. I believe your work defines who you are, and you should be paid relative to the quality of your work. If you wish to simply interrogate me for your own enjoyment, Mr. Kelso, then I will answer no more questions. Here is my number. Call me when you are prepared to help. All right. Thank you for your number. Was easy. Was easy. Getting her number was easy. All I needed to do was ask questions. I'm a master ladies man. Don't look at that. That's Cole's, um, not wife, but, you Mr. know. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. Come on. 
Whoops. I dropped something. Alright. At least this guy is not as angry. But he's annoyed. This guy doesn't yell. That's good. Oh my god. Sorry. Why am I right up uh, up your ass? I don't know. You're the one leading me, right? Not me leading you. I guess that one. Because it looks like the most obvious place. Don't play golf in the office, are you crazy? You wanted to see me? Oh yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I She's think She's the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. What a dick. I'll quit. Right now. Your car, Mr. Kelso. It is indeed a car. I will hold E now. I'll hold E. Because there is no conf uh There is no uh There is no talking here, right? No conversation. There's no one there. But me and my own thoughts. Maybe I'm schizophrenic. Maybe I'm talking to myself. I mean, I am. In the real world. Okay, now Cole might get caught because he's like, yo, there was another guy here asking a bunch of stuff. Wait, there's no one here? What? And I can just go in and do my thing? I don't understand. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. I don't understand. Am I supposed to win this case? And make Elsa lose? Or lose this case and make Elsa win? Because I'm with Colt, right? Technically, I'm with Cole. I don't care about this guy. Bulldozing and starting again. All of this evidence, and when it's uh, interview time, I will be uh, failing all of these again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Mm-hmm. Looks like he didn't miss the memo. Oh god. Freeway. Look at that beautiful smile. That's where it all started. That smile. That damn smile. Okay, this is making me dizzy now. Let's get out of here. Uh, no, 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 no. Why is there like a long cut? I'm pressing the right click. Why you, do you still gotta do the thing that you do? No. Okay. Uh, can I wash dishes? Uh, that's unfortunate. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. All right, let's go. You know that? No, you. Take another step this way. Easy. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. You want me to beat you again? Because I will... No, I will run you over this time. Alright? Okay. Uh, yeah. He's right here. No need to go anywhere. Oh yeah, I... It might have been me, because I... Destroying lots of houses here. Not for construction use. Hmm. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> nice. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's try to piece this together. Are you literally about to piece them together? That's not right. No, that is not. Take the key. What? Keystone. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Bunch of people, apparently. That's a red flag, though. I see lots of red flags there. Oh, hello. Alright. Well, uh, you could have uh, gone literally anywhere else. But, okay. Time to die, mister. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go here first. I don't understand. What do I do? I'm shooting the guy. Anyway. Uh-oh. Can I do it? There you go. Guess the bullets helped. Well, now you're stuck there. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. We're not gonna um, question that or. Um, Deal with him in any way. All right, works fine to me, for me. I want to talk. Can I get a call on the phone? Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is six five eight North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I like the uh, cold uh, ones better, but... You're alright. I mean, you didn't even say hi. Here we go. Let's go. Kelso is a much better driver than cold. Look at them drifts. Look at that. No crashes whatsoever. And now, look at this. Zero. There will be no crashes with this guy. See? Cars just go away from this guy. They don't want to hit him. Because he hasn't done anything. Wow. You see that? Amazing, right? Zero. 
I'm the master of this game. I finally became a master. It took me only 20 episodes. But here we are. Better late than ever, right? They make films here? I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Alright. Thank you. I'm glad we became... Came to an agreement here. There you go. That's how you do it. You just climb over. Uh, screening room. Screaming room, most likely, actually. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's probably nothing. Yeah. Uh, come on. Okay. Um. Ooh, very nice. Time to watch a movie. Got it. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GR. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of autistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here, that is something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. I'm gonna be honest, I... Would... I will not remember that whatsoever. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I want, to hear it. I want a phone. A telephone, perhaps. Nope, 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 Oh! Aw. I thought that was a real horse. Oh, man. This is where they got the Red Dead Redemption idea. Even though the first one came before this. 
It's an easter egg then. Alright. I'm gonna go with that. Hello. No trespassing. Operator, think you could put me through to police dispatch? Thanks. I work here now. Putting you through now. Oh, I know this girl. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight, do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Auf Wiedersehen, Mr. Kelso. Thanks. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is Dr. Benji. He's like, thanks. <gasps> oh, yeah, it reminds me of that video. Can't say what it is. I mean, I can. It's called, cannot crush your balls. <laughs> it reminded me of that. Yo! Oh no, the same songs again. Where is Jack? There is Jack. Alright. Want them to meet up. Is that possible? Could that be possible? Are you getting jealous? For real? Please don't get jealous. Please. You're the one that... What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man. And you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. All right. Uh, it's not morning yet, is it? You can go under there, right? Take your hat off. Okay. Let's go. I feel great danger. Let's be flickering. It's like a horror movie. Hello? 
That would be a great plot twist too. Why do you have it on? Turn it off. <sighs> You're a dumbo. You wanna get killed, huh? This guy wants to get killed. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, oh okay. All right, let's dance. Come on. Oh my god. All right. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. That was scripted? Really? Okay. Or maybe... There are like two endings on for this? I don't know. I hope, I hope Cole comes in. But he's coming somewhere else right now. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> How'd you get out? I'm do why are you what the hell I don't uh, I was pressing shift and then it walked thank you 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 sorry pal desperate times desperate times desperate measures there you go Easy. <laughs> Out of my way. Oh my god, that was a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I'll be going here. Uh, if you don't mind, so I can lose them. I ain't got time for this. That is very true. Very true. Why? Do no, that's a very bad idea. Don't go there. Maybe you should call her, but not go into the apartment. You could be followed. Even though you were followed and you lost them, but at the same time you could still be followed. Maybe someone played that he, he got behind, but actually he is following you, tailing you as we speak. And then Elsa will die. And there will be no Frozen 3. And then that would, that would suck. Or maybe that would be the, for the best. I'm not sure which one it is actually. I've seen the Frozen one only. Uh, like half assed it. I saw it while I was doing other things. But um, I don't know. It was alright, but not for me. So I wouldn't be missing Frozen 3. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it, it could come, it could not come. I don't care. So Elsa, uh, you might die, you might not die, I don't care. 
But Cole cares, so I care. Uh oh, Cole is gonna beat his ass now. But he's bloody, so maybe not. Maybe Cole understands. Oh yeah, they're sleeping right now. It's gonna be a tough break for this guy. He's gonna come in and he's gonna he's like, yo, I should be the one coming. But Cole is like, I already came. So <laughs> that's unfortunate. Oh my god. So you're still carrying that army forty five, Cole. Nine one one. What's your emergency? <laughs> okay, let's see the intro. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above, covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons Compass. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Sitting there. Not long, Mr. Kerso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Vona Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. 
That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Why does he call her a princess? Are they banging as well? What's going on? Is this love triangle? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? 